Did you know that there are 210,000 family caregivers in New Mexico? Did you know that there will be more than 61,000 caregivers working for pay by 2016 in New Mexico? Did you know that people who care for the most vulnerable in our society make only $9 to $12 per hour? They do in fact make on average $15 an hour when they work for themselves or as members of a co-op. Did you know that until last fall, caregivers were considered equivalent to babysitters? That they were exempt from federal minimum wage and overtime protection? Did you know that caregivers often don't have the training they really need to do the best possible job? Or if training is provided, they often must pay for it themselves? My name is Kelly Fajardo. I'm State Representative of District 7 down here in Valencia County. Um, I got involved in uh, the Mexico Caregivers Coalition when I learned that there was a disparity in um, training for, for caregivers, for family caregivers in particular. Um, there are agencies that do really good work and they're working really hard for families, but there are some agencies who just don't, they're not up to par. They don't have the adequate training. And I think it's important when you're in crisis and you're at that point in your life where you have to call to bring somebody into your home to provide care, that you trust that they're trained and that they're qualified. And that's how I got involved with this. It's important for me as a legislator to make sure our elderly are taken care of and our families are taken care of. Um, I have an older brother who is mentally disabled and I have a mother who died of cancer. And so I understand the need, I understand being in crisis and what it means to, um, to make that phone call that you need help. And I want to make sure the person answering that, that line is qualified, that they're trained. We also learned through this process that the other thing that we can do is create a career path for people. Um, that we can start them onto something, something bigger, that they can uh, further their training, they can get cert certified through the schools. And by doing that, um, you have people who are starting off maybe as an entry-level position and all of a sudden in a few years they actually have a career. And we know that our elderly population is growing, so there's a lot of job opportunities and a lot of career opportunities in our state. The New Mexico Direct Caregivers Coalition is a statewide organization that was created to promote the voice of family and professional caregivers and those they serve. The coalition advocates for caregivers education, training, benefits, wages and professional development so that they may better serve those who are elderly and those with disabilities. The coalition travels throughout the state conducting listening to caregivers sessions in which we seek to hear and learn from caregivers. The coalition administers nationally recognized credential that measures eight core competency areas that every caregiver should know. The coalition also connects caregivers to online instruction at no cost. The coalition hosts a job matching registry where caregivers can post skills so that agencies and care recipients can find them in their own communities. And the coalition can help caregivers and recipients obtain a background check. Today the coalition reaches 7,500 individuals and agencies in New Mexico advocating for caregivers and those they serve, providing training and supporting caregivers in leadership, development, and advocacy. I look forward to the day when all New Mexicans get the type of care that my brother has and that my mom deserved. Join New Mexico's movement to improve work-related issues for caregivers and for better supporting family caregivers with training, education, and support networks. We need every New Mexican to help.